Last day of August, the 31st, next morning. So my video yesterday was in this little paddock, paddock here. And I said I was going to get about a day and a half out of it. So we're 24 hours later, a little under it. And I'm about to open this fence down the middle. So I gave them half of that field yesterday, a little over half. And I'm going to give them the rest of it now this morning with the fence left open, which will mean they have access to the whole area. And this evening I'll leave them across the road. Now I'm actually just thinking now, could I possibly separate out a few of these here now and leave them on the top? Yeah. So my decision has been made. I know I mentioned it yesterday, but Skinny Claire is going to go. Black Maverick is going to go. Grey Rowan Bull is going to go. And the Red White Head is going to go. Lead Cow. And after that, I will reassess my situation. So that's one, two, three, four. There's 25 in here, is there? 24, 25. God, I'm desperate. I can't remember. In and around that. And um, we'll see how we go. So from now on in, we are growing grass for these to graze for the winter time. So I don't want to be going through super fast. Even though I'm not. I'm around 50 days at the minute of a rotation. I want to stretch it out that little bit more. And uh, get my stockpile grass growing. So let me just cross this fence here. What do things look like after 24 hours? Well, they have a fairly S. And evenly so. And they took out a few of them light rushes and nipped the likes of them as well. So it's time to move. Right, let me just see, can I straighten these out? If I can, I'll do it. If I can't, I'll get help. Okay, I'll be back. So I have separated out the two cows, the two calves and that grey roany bull there. They are on the far side of that fence. They're not too happy about it. The little black maverick, where is she? She slipped under the fence, the little shit. So what I'm going to do is, I'm in, the, I'm in the car now, so I'm going to go back to the quad. And I'm going to fence a bit of a place below, down here. And move these across fairly soon, before they have that it off. And leave these few cows into this area here. And then... When the main herd is away, I'm going to slip the rest of them out up the road and gone. So, so far so good, only that black one slipped through. I could get her again when I'm letting them across the road. I'll filter her out there, that gap. And hold her back if I can. <clears throat> I find this difficult always, even though it's worked out well here now, but it's always a difficult thing separating out cows. Some cows are, are very pally with others and they don't like to be separated. That white lady, Skinny Claire, is giving out. She's definitely giving out. And I don't like causing them stress. Um, the real stress is going to start when the main hair goes across the road. I have to try and make sure that they don't burst out. Mm. We'll see. That's the situation at the minute. Okay, so the situation at the minute is now I'm after putting in a second fence and I'm after pulling back out Black Maverick or Maverick Ella. So I have the cows I want out on the high side, I have the black lady that I want out in the middle and I have the cows that I want to put down into that gap on the lower side. Now the idea of this second fence is to keep that black lady away and if these breach the force fence then I have a second one here with extra pegs because it's actually the pegs that really makes them notice the fence now I've no help here still so I've below all set up they're going to graze the lane and into a little bit of a garden below that'll do the smaller hair for the night and keep a bit of distance um, between these and the rest of them so they're going to be anxious for grass. So when they come in here, they will graze this, I'm hoping, and stay quiet. This may all fail very fast. 
and I may have to go to plan B, which is help. But I'm going to chance it for now. I'm going to put a fence across the road. And I'm going to stay to the right-hand side here and put a fence across here and let them go in the gap. That is the plan. I'm going to do it now and hopefully, hopefully this works. So I have all the cattle separated out. I'm going to keep these at home for a while, uh, wean the calves, get the cows gone, sell the bull. And yeah, that's what I intend on doing. That will leave me with a handier herd for the next It'll leave me with a handier herd on this side. It'll allow me graze what I have at home and grow, slow down the rotation here. Now that the growth is going to start slowing from now on in and allow me to grow some stockpile grass for winter. Now that is the theory. Whether it all works out, I don't know. Let me try it. I will be back. I have the gap opened. Anxiety hasn't set in yet. Are making their way across slowly. Calf first. Very slowly. Keep her going, girl. No, there we are. The white, skinny white Claire is a real noisy whore. She'll be roaring for a while, but if you can get these across this road now, I am elected. Keep going. Look at them. They're starting to get anxious now up there. But when they get to the grass, they'll be better. Go on. Keep moving. Right, I'm going to close down. You know what I'm at. I'll be back in a sec. Right now, my only problem is that black lady. She's not on for settling down. Even though she has cumbers there. All is quiet out from that. She's a thundering bitch. I can't wait to get rid of her. Back in a sec. Okay, lead cow is quiet. They're starting to settle. Situation update. So I've left in that lower buffer fence, I suppose. It's a fence with inside a field to keep them just from, I suppose their idea of getting out is coming down to the gap where I have the quad. So I have lots of pegs put down and I have the power on the fence and they're starting to settle. I have the black lady back in with the rest of them. So this is now the new hare that's going to come back and graze land at home. And the rest of them are down below. You probably can't see them. Let me see. In there. So I'm going to close the gap behind them there and leave them up off the lane that's here. So they won't come back to the gate. And this evening, when I have help, I'm going to walk these up the road. So, thank God it worked. Um, I find these situations the most stressful. And so do the cows, I suppose. They can pick up on my stress. They don't like being separated. They have their own little hair dynamics. And they don't like to change them things. But the Rorden has stopped. And the black heifer has decided that she's going to give up and stay with this little unit. Um, Bully has his own little herd now to mind and the roan by the red roan is with the cows below so he will be boss man down here and this lad will be boss man here and at home until he has a new home so this lad is now for sale not registered but can be pedigree short horn she is for sale his mother pedigree registered short horn heifer i'm keeping them two calves and lead cow is going and that black maverick that does my head in so i'm going to go and knock a few of them rushes that's touching my wire and i'm going to go back home and get a cup of tea so i think that's the news for today um yeah unless i post this depending on how long it is i might just add on the little road trip home or else it'll be the next video so i'll be back so I'm just in the middle of fencing this field. This is where the cattle that I'm after splitting off are going to be coming into. I was going to mow it, but I'm not going to mow it. I'm in fencing it here and I'm just looking at it and I absolutely can't believe the stuff is in it. I have clover the size of my hand in here. And I have plantain two foot long. 
It is unbelievable. Look at that for red clover. Huge stuff. Let me just pick one of them. Huge stuff. Look at the size of that. And the plantain. Let me go down to the very end of it. If I can find the end of it. There we go. You see that? The length of my post. This is unbelievable stuff. Yes, I could mow it, but the ground is wet and I don't want to compact my soil. This was a real rushy field years back and I allowed it to grow up several times. This was my original experimental paddock and it has improved unbelievable. I absolutely love this field. The plantain, the clover and all the different species of grass. They were super strong, but they're super lush stuff in there as well. Amazing stuff. Right, okay, I'm going to keep fencing and I'm going to bring the cattle up in here later on and I'll add to this. But I'm really excited about this. Now, here we are. We're going to do this little bit of a move. Uh, I don't think them calves have been home with me at all yet. No, they haven't. The cows have. That black lady has. The bull has. They've done the road trip. I've only ever gone halfway with the calf. So we're going to do it now, anyhow. So... They're looking content, they're full, they're not anxious. It's now half five in the evening. So we'll knock off this fence and us can and get it. Now, lead cow's already mad to go. Come on, come on. I better get you all up first. Bunny, you getting up? Come on. Maybe I should sit them up first. Make their dung. And get them ready. Not a bit anxious to move. Are you want to get up, lady? Come on, get up. Get up. You're all full. I was going to eat this off a little bit tighter, but I'm kind of glad I didn't. So, Bully, you just need to get up now. Come on, get up. Oh, Jesus, that'll get you up. Now, there's a nice animal. He is going to thrive now when he goes home on the clover. All of these are. I'm going to give that lady a dose. Um, and I may give this lady a dose. Um, just for... Just to give him that little bit of a hand. Or going anyhow. Once I have to intervene like that, that's a sign to leave. Right, hang on, I open this up. Now, if I get all of these out, I will be doing really well. Come on, because they have to turn down that road there. Come on. Calves are the biggest trouble, they need to get out. Girl, you can go this way. Don't be looking down there. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Keep on moving. Down that way. All of you. Bring your calf, girl. Come on. Come on. You know how to do it. No, Black Angus, don't you annoy me. Bully, up that way. Come on. No, mother. Mother hen. Away you go. Right, we're on the road. I'll be back in a sec. Fantastic. This is the last job, our last road trip for Leeco. So we are on the move with our little micro herd. A nice little herd at that too. Nothing wrong with it. Let me just stand up and get a look at them. Yeah, so we can see the maximum here. The only two that's not doing well is the two cows. Even though they're not too bad either. I just need to make decisions. As I said before, I can't keep them off. So we have about a little less than two miles, I'd say, to walk.
much real vent. You know this place well. Come on. It's always at this stage now. This is when the doubt starts to kick in. I'm looking at that cow there, thinking to myself, you know what? She's not too bad. My poor lead cow as well. But look, I have that little roany heifer beside her mother, and I have that lovely red white head heifer just like her mother. So if the calves are better than the mother, and the mothers don't look great, well then it's time to go. Come on, lady. She's a lovely rich red now. So look at onwards and upwards. I'm gonna turn this hill here now. Away we go. Come on. Now when I was young I used to be moving cattle for my uncle and he'd never like to see them run. Even though I'd be anxious to get these home fast, I don't like to run them either. So a nice, slow, steady pace. Not to have them panting and puffing and out of breath. When they arrive, if they want to run on themselves, that's okay, but a nice, slow, steady pace. So I would say we're just under halfway home now. We've only one real hard pace to go through. And uh, once we're through, we're, we're on the home straight. Another corner here to meet. Thank you, sir. Come on. Come on. Very good. home straight well the last few yards even we're going to go into this field in here and I believe they're going to really enjoy it but well, I'm going to watch them enjoy watching them in there see how long it will last I'm very excited about this now turn into the right there girls and boy perfect On here. <laughs> now how cool is that? So this is going to be their home now for the next I would say I haven't a clue how long this is going to last. I'll know tomorrow. They only have a small little bit of it here. It'll probably do them two days maybe. I could hold it for three. I really want to eat it up. I'm going to chomp it up every last bit and get them moving so over here is a little bit fresher sweeter and in there is a little bit coarser but there's lovely sweet stuff underneath so a successful move we have all our cattle that we need to get home home so on that note i will say good luck and goodbye